Hey everyone, Tofu here, and welcome back to more Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge! Last time we did Bad Magic Bayou, and it was... It was, it was kind of annoying, not gonna lie, but... But that's okay, because we're moving on today to hopefully something a bit better. Or worse, I don't know. Uh, we're doing the fourth world today. Yes, fourth. Uh, which we learned the name of last time, which is Spiller's Harbor. And I'm very excited about it because it's my favorite world in the game. Uh, also, we got a Jiggy here now that we have Build Drill. We can knock that down very nicely. Uh, but yeah, Spiller's Harbor is my favorite world. Honestly, it's mainly just for the music. Um, there's a lot that I like about Spiller's Harbor. I think it's a very nice challenge. Um, it, it's kind of like, I would say it's kind of the Rusty Bucket Bay of this game. Um, which sounds bad, but I, I enjoy it a lot of the time. But because I'm recording right now, and I'm kind of, you know, pressured to get things right on the first try, uh, my time with it may not be so exciting this time. So we'll, we'll just see how it goes, but I hope it'll be still fun, uh, because it is, it is my favorite world, and I would like it to not be ruined. But anyways, it's going to show us where to go, and it's all the way at that top area that I have uh, yet to kind of show off. Spiral Mirror. I think that's how you say that word, at least. All the way up there. So, let's make our way all the way up there. Well, we've got a few things to do in Spiral Mountain uh, in the meantime, though, of course. So, uh, first thing, I guess, is we can get ourselves another health upgrade from Miss Honey Bee over here, if I can actually talk to her. Yes, I am ready. Oh, also, the music in this place is really great. Like, I don't know. Like, the little sound font they use for the bees. The little buzzy sound. It's just very nice, and I, I like it a lot. But that's not important right now, is it? I mean, I think it is pretty important. Um, okay, I think we've done everything we can over here for now. So I think we're honestly just kind of good to go back up here. And, oh, watch out for this guy. And now, go up here. Get these notes up here. Yeah, there's a bit to explore uh, in this part of the hub world here. This is the last part of the hub world, so... Not much more beyond this. Get some notes here, very nice. Okay, there's a Jinjo there. Got three of them now in Spiral Mountain, so we'll be finishing them up pretty quickly. Well, I mean, it'll still be a couple episodes, or well, not a couple, because there's there's only going to be a couple episodes left in this series, but um, not too far more to go before we can actually do that. Uh, nothing else we can really do over here right now. If we go to the left, oh no, I wanted to go to the left. To the left, okay. Get these notes, and there should be... Oh, well, there's a Gruntweed. Hi, Gruntweed. It's been a while since we've, saw, since we've seen you. Uh, but there's, like, a minigame over here. Like, right up here, yes. It's our good friend, presumably, maybe, Snorkel the Dolphin again. He wants us to feed him. We gotta feed him eggs. Yes, I'll say yes. Because you're, you're a cute little guy. Okay. So this guy... Oh, God. He's gonna kind of- it's like- it's kind of like whack-a-mole, I guess, except you're feeding him instead of whacking him. Just kind of gotta react quickly. He does move pretty fast, but it, he pretty much moves in a pattern, so... Well, I just messed it up, but... It's not too difficult once you- oh, never mind. He kind of alternates, I guess, between going just, like, around and then- I don't know. Oh, jeez. Just one more- okay, there we go. Yeah, it kind of alternates between, like, going from left to right or left to middle, but... I don't know. It's not it's not too bad. You can pretty much get it pretty quickly. Oh, here's a world we have yet to unlock. I think that's, like, the first time we've actually, like, encountered the entrance to a world before we've actually opened it, so... That's kind of... kind of silly goofy, but... Uh, not too much to actually say about it, I guess. And man, we are really kind of getting... All the notes here. We're almost done with Spiral Mountain notes. A little bit more to go still. Uh, there's an area up here, but, uh... Yeah, we can't really do much. I mean, I, c I can get this one note, but... Not much else to do up there for now. Hello, Jinjo. I cannot get you yet, either. Got a beehive here. 
Wow, the honeycomb just fell out. Do I even need that? No. Okay, well then I'm not gonna pick it up. Get some more notes here, and yeah, that's pretty much all we can do in Spiral Mountain right now, so... Let's just go ahead and go into Spiller's Harbor! As I said, it's my favorite world, uh, mainly for the music. We've got a new type of egg there, so we'll learn about that. We've got these guys again that will we'll have to shake off of us. Also, I want to call attention to this because this has fucked me over so many times. There's a note behind this, and it's one of the five, the, like, the notes that come in a group of five. I have spent, I spent like an hour looking around this level for this note before, and it drove me insane, so I always make sure to pick it up the first time, or just like right away. As soon as I get here. So, uh, up here, we got a bunch more of these guys. Let's just deal with them. Got some golden feathers as well. Yes. Thanks, Bazai. Yeah. Yeah, you have to teach me how to do it. And I think you do that up here. But we don't have enough notes for that. Uh, so we got to get 16 more notes, I think it was. Here's another group of five, so that'll help tremendously. Oh my gosh, we got these bird, oh my god, crow-like enemies, I guess. I don't know. Stop it. Get them out of here. Mr. Drippy. Okay, so this, I don't, uh, this is confusing, right? Because this guy's, like, the ice cream truck says Mr. Drippy, but his name is actually different. His name is Alfred P. Cock. Uh, but he's the ice cream man. Don't give me that. I don't... No, I don't... I don't want that from... Don't describe it like that. Please don't. Okay. Anyways, we got ice cream. So we'll have to do something with that later, but... Not right now. Get this guy off me. Yeah, I just like the atmosphere of this level. I don't know. It's just really... It's just really nice, I think. I mean, it's obviously not nice. Like, it's... It's polluted. It's a polluted little bayside, and it's... It's not great, but... I don't know. I think in terms of, like, level aesthetics, I really like it. It's very, very cute. I mean, pollution's not cute. Don't pollute anything. It's bad. Um, actually, I don't know if we... Can we do this right now? We might need another move for this. Yeah, we can't do everything in here right now. We can get these notes, though. And some more eggs that I don't exactly need. Yeah, I can't get the guy... Oh, right! The Jinjo's in this level. Yeah, so the colors of, of the Jinjo's in this level are gray. Which is interesting, because uh, if you know Banjo-Tooie lore... The Grey Jinjos died uh, from the Hag 1 drill when they went through uh, Isle of Hags to Spiral Mountain. Uh, so it's kind of cool that, like, now that we're in the past, we can see the Grey Jinjos because they're not dead at this point. I don't know. I just think it's kind of uh, kind of fun that we get to see them. But sadly, we know their fate. Get this guy off me. The boss pad is down here, but we have not opened it yet. Uh, so... Not much to do down there. There's, of course, a whole little area down here for us to go to, but I don't quite think I want to do that yet. Um, I think where I actually want to go is... Well, actually, hold on. Do I have enough notes now? No, I don't. I still need five more. Okay, you get away from me. Uh, okay, we can build drill this. I guess it's one of the few instances of actually using Build Drill to break something instead of just trying to shake something down. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. I don't remember all the uses of Build Drill in this game. There's like a little beach area over here, but I don't really want to go over there yet. I usually go there at the... towards the end of the world. Uh, nope. I don't want to go up there. I want to go past Mr. Drippy. Or, you know, the other name he said. Up here to Spillerston. Which is a strange name, I guess, but it's like, I don't know, it's like a little village place, I guess. Get this guy out of here. Go back and get some of the notes that I skipped over. Ah! God, there's enemies all over the place. There's Gruntweed again. Gosh dang Gruntweed. Okay. Over here we have a sentient pile of poop. <laughs> Big bubble. Okay, so this kid got a got a spaceship, a toy spaceship. And we gotta get it back for him. Also, yes, it is it is a sentient pile of shit. That that's just what it is. Are they the same species as the Great Mighty Pooh? Because these universes are 
theoretically connected, so I, I don't know. But their, uh, I think their, their official name is, like, Squit. Uh, if I remember correctly. I don't think it's ever said in the game, but I think it's, like, in an instruction booklet or something. They're called Squits. We have this arcade machine here, uh, which we can't really do anything with. Uh, so we're gonna get some tokens at some point. At some point, I mean, like, at the very end of the game. This is, like, a post-game thing. But pretty much what it is, it's just to kind of, like, replay minigames, I think. So it's nothing too crazy, so... But anyways, we got the spaceship on top of that, so... That's cool. So now that kid's gonna go back to his mom. Uh, the mama shit. Or the mama squit, sorry. Um, basically, the mom has, like, two kids missing, I'm pretty sure. So we'll get a jiggy once we get both of their both of her kids taken care of. Kind of similar to uh, the witchy world jiggy, where Mrs. Boggy has her children missing. Uh, here we have another Bazai Hill that has way lower of a note requirement, which is kind of odd that it's further in the world than the one at the beginning. Anyway, now he will teach us to use uh, the Shock Jump. So we, we learned this in Banjo-Kazooie, a treasure trove cove. But now we can do it in this game. And it's, you know, at least it's like an actual unlockable move and not like a basic move that we should normally have at the start, so... It's fine with me now. Uh, also, there's a golden feather thing up there. Um, yeah, okay, so we learn... Obviously, we're going to learn how to use golden feathers in this world as well. But I can't remember if that's the molehill at the start of the world. Because there's another move we learn here, too. I don't know where that one is. Uh, but let's just go into the... Um, the lodge. The lodge that belongs to somebody. Grunty is on that TV, and I don't know why. I guess she's broadcasting herself for some reason. I don't know. Okay, yeah, well, there's... There's the golden feather pad. Because, I, I mean, we'll... we'll Bazai will explain this to us when we get there, but... Uh, golden feathers are activated by a pad in this game, rather than just being able to use them whenever you want. Uh, so... That's how they work. But we can't really do anything with them yet until we actually learn how to use it, so... A bit silly. Oh, damn it, I didn't want to jump down. Yeah, get used to taking this route, by the way, because we're going to be doing it a few times. So, I think you can just make this with a talent draw jump and a rat -a rap. So that's very silly, but we get those notes. I cannot make that jump. I don't even think you can go up there, I think that's just decoration. I don't remember going that far up, though. At least. Uh, there's an area down here, but we cannot go in here yet. We need to take a different form to do that. Um, so this is the mama. The mama squid. Yeah, mother squid. They do actually say it in-game. Mrs. Squitter. <laughs> Bro, you can't call her that. Oh, alright. Yeah, <laughs> she wants us to get her little squids. Get them moving in no time. Now that's what I call a bowel movement. Alright. Alright, here's Mr. Rabofsky again. We saw him in Bad Magic Bio too with the fishing game, but I didn't really call attention to it. So we gotta get five little token things uh, to do the slide. And yeah, it's another slide, so I'm sure that'll go over very well for me. Um, where the fuck is... Oh god, where's the other boss I at? Well... I should have enough notes now to actually get the move down here. So whether it's golden feathers or the other thing I'm thinking of, hopefully I can I can do it. All right, cool. It's probably the other thing, right? Because uh, he's got those eggs next to him, so it's probably actually going to teach us how to use these eggs. Yep, ice eggs. Surprise, surprise! It's, it's ice eggs. Whoa, Kazooie. Oh, that was a that was a great, great joke, Banjo. Great joke. Also, it's kind of weird. Oh, my God. It's weird because, like, the amount of eggs are kind of different per type. Granted, it was like that in Tui as well, but I don't know. They're just kind of, like, weird because, like, 25, 15, 20, it's just like, I don't know. Could have just made it a nice, consistent number for, for the handheld game. Could have just done that for me. But no, I guess not. Anyway. 
Um, I suppose we can go here now to do the boss. Go up here, bounce up here, and now with our ice eggs, shoot in the hole. And that will activate the boss pad for us. So let's go down and take care of Grunty. Because we're going to fight Grunty again this time. And unlike some of the other bosses, uh, actually are going to do it via the uh, egg shooting game. Also, I don't really want to... Oh, never mind. I guess you actually have to use ice eggs this time. I was going to say, I don't really want to waste them, but I suppose I don't really have much of a choice. Anyways, we've got to shoot her little body parts here that are kind of... I, know, I guess they got more of a reddish tint to them, I would say. It's like the top of her head, the hands, and her chin. It's not too bad. And now she'll start to fly. Ah, uh, I was gonna say... Oh god, yeah. It can get kind of easy for you to be back into a corner and kind of be forced to take damage. Oh god. Alright, there we go. And now we just have, like, the center part to take care of. Okay, I hit the projectile instead of actual thing. Come on! Oh my god. Hit the thing! Oh, never mind. I think there's something else. Is that, like, is that her shoulder that I have to hit? Yeah, I guess so. That's a weird thing. Oh my god. Stop it! Hit the thing. Hit. Okay. Yeah. You won't hold back. You'll use full power. And we'll see about that. Actually, she she's not lying. She's not lying. It won't be easy when we actually get there. But anyways, we got a Jiggy and a Mumbo token from that. So, there is more for us to do right now. Um, Do I want to go do, to do the Mumbo stuff now, though? I don't think so. Because uh, now that I think about it, I think the the last boss I move is just kind of right at the start of this area down here. Yes, it is. And it is, of course, Golden Feathers. So, yeah. Alright. Kazooie just has to make fun of the mole people at all times. Wonder Wing! Of course. So, yeah, like I said, we have to we have to use it on the pads to actually activate it. Instead of just being able to activate it freely. So, we can do that. Uh, we can do that here. I don't really know what the point of it is here. Because I don't think it protects you from the polluted water, so... I think it might just be there for you to show it off, but I don't really think there's anything for you to use it with down there. At the very least, I'm not going to worry about that area right now. So, now let's actually make our way back up to Spillerston, because there was some stuff to use the Golden Feathers with in there. Oh, also... There was a, a thing for the shock jump in here, right? There's a ginger that I had to get. So let's get this guy before I forget. Let's kill this guy. And his buddy. And this guy in here, because that will kill me if I... bounce up there with him still alive. Well, it won't kill me, but it'll... make me take damage, so... best to get him out of the way. Get off of me! Okay. That was close. Uh, but yeah, I think now... Actually, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, there's something I guess I should probably do first. And that is, like, actually go down to this area for just a little... I thought there was gonna be a platform down there, because there's a ladder. It's logic, logic with the note that there's a safe landing down there, but no, the safe landing is nowhere near the ladders. It's fine. Uh, anyways, there's one of the tokens that we gotta get for the slide. Uh, I actually don't really remember where all of them are. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should do the transformation stuff now. Because it is easier to explore down here. But anyways, we got the other squid here. Pull up a stool. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Also, we just gotta give him the ice cream to satisfy him. Also, Banjo calls it sweetie. He calls a sentient pile of fucking shit sweetie. He's the best person alive. Like, he's just so non-judgmental. I mean, that's not true. He definitely judges a few people sometimes, along with Kazooie. But, bro, bro like, it's, a, it's fucking fecal matter, dude. It's fecal matter, and he said he called it sweetie. He's so cool. 
Uh, yeah, okay, let's go see Mumbo and do some transforming right now. As we deal with these sl slime things. I don't even know what they are. They're disgusting looking, though. Hi, Mumbo. I do have a new totem for you. So let us transform into... Something new! It's an octopus. We're gonna turn into an octopus. And the octopus will be immune to the poisoned or polluted water. So, that will help us navigate that. Yep. Oh yeah, we can also shoot... Shoot out little bubbles. That are very, very silly. Make a silly sound. Look at that guy. Get off of me. Okay. So let's go down here and actually explore the waters a bit more. I think most of the tokens may be actually down here. Of course, I may also just be wrong about that. Uh, which may be the case. Um, obviously, there's some notes over here. Or at least one note. Can I... Hello? You got stuck there. Okay. There's another Jinjo. How are we on those? We got three of them. Okay. Get some more notes. There's a Jiggy over there. Get those notes as well. Uh, the octopus also, like, jumps higher in water. I don't think Mumbo really explained that, but it is something that happens with it. God, this water just looks so gross. Ugh. All right. Uh, I think we can go in this pipe. We'll have a little mucky passage to go through. With some, some shrapnels to avoid, which will be pretty annoying most of the time. I think one of those pipes has something on top of it, so... I want to make sure I don't miss that, because this is, a, this is a current, as you can see, so... It will be difficult to go backwards sometimes. Uh, I don't think I should get up there. Okay. Just get some notes for now. Uh, I don't think we can go in this. Nope. It's just a thing there. Uh, let's not get hit by these guys. Oh my god. Oh my god! They deal two damage each, so I just took four points of damage there. Watch out for these. Oh my god, another one. Um... I thought there was something... Kind of hidden along the way here. Oh god. No, 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 no. Okay. He's gonna go down there, that's fine. Just give me that note quick. Oh god. Sneak past him, get that note. Oh god. I hate this. Note. Nice. Okay. Give me this jiggy. And yeah, I guess that might actually just be it for this little tunnel area, so... That's fine with me. Um... So yeah. Honestly, I don't think there's really much else to do with this guy. Um, I don't think... Like, we can't go in here, right? Oh, we can. Oh, no, that just takes you up here. Well, that's weird. Uh, I think there may be something for us to do over here with this guy. Uh, but don't quote me on that. Okay, well, there's some notes. Is there anything else we need this guy for out here? Uh, 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 okay, that's a switch that we can't even access with this guy. So, no, I think that's actually it for the octopus. Uh, so kind of sad that we don't really get to do much with him, but... Oh, well. He, he will have some more time to shine later. But for now, we are done with him. So let us return to Mumbo. Oh god, get out of my face. And let's go back. We are gonna have some stuff to do with the mouse at some point. I don't really think I want to do it now. Oh, actually, I think I do. I think I do. I think it is probably better to do it now. Alright, fine. Do the mouse thing. Why am I complaining about that? I like being a mouse. Uh, but I, I guess, I don't know. I'm just kind of... Why can't I move? Oh my god. That's like the second time this has happened, where I've, I became the mouse and I couldn't move. I'm, I, I don't know what it is, but... Uh, I, I guess my worry right now is I don't know where the, all the tokens are. That is something I am not sure about. Uh, oh my god. Anyways, we use the mouse to get in here through some opening that I 
don't remember where it is. Oh, it's down here. Okay. Okay. So get these notes. I think there may be a token in here. There's an empty honeycomb. Uh, never mind. There's no token in here. How do you... You can't jump over that. Okay, you can't just sneak past that thing. I thought it was like forced... Forced damage there for a second, because the hitbox on that thing can be kind of annoying. Yeah, I thought there was a token in there, but... There's not. Uh, so that's unfortunate. That's really all we can do with the mouse up here. And the other thing to do with the mouse is... Down in that beach area. So let us make our way... Back over here to Bilge Haven. Uh, oh, there's a token on top of that! But I can't get it as the mouse! I should have got it before. So with the mouse we can fit into the sandcastle. We've got a bit of a maze here. And this is a little confusing, um, especially when it comes to picking up notes, because like in Briggle Beach, the notes kind of do blend in uh, with the sand a bit, so it can be a bit a bit difficult to to know if you've actually uh, got it or got got everything or not. I mean, it's it's a maze as well, so it's kind of difficult to tell either way. Uh, we have some levers around here that we got to nibble at to make switches or to make bridges. Uh, to eventually get across to that jiggy, so... Let's keep going around and getting those. Dealing with these annoying guys along the way. Uh, there's another lever that I missed. Okay, that will make a bridge there. There's a milk carton ramp here. That's how we get up to the second level, but... I think there's at least one more bridge that we need to make first. So let's continue looking around. Also, there's definitely more notes to get on the floor as well, so... Want to make sure we get those. Yep, here's another lever. Get that taken care of. I don't remember how many bridges we have to make. There's definitely a few. That might be the last one, or there might be just one more. I don't entirely remember. But yeah, just, just looking around to make sure I've gotten all the notes in here. Uh, because... I've definitely been missing, like, one note before in this world, and it's, it was in here. I know I also said that, like, I missed the note at the beginning that was, like, the group of five behind those barrels. I, uh, for as much as I do like this world, I've definitely had some annoying experiences on it when it comes to just missing stuff. So I would like to avoid that here. I think this is the entrance. Yeah, okay. So we should have gotten everything around here. I usually like to save this area for last, because at that point it's like, then I should just have a uh, hundred notes by the time I'm out of here, but eh, do it a bit differently this time, I guess. Anyways, that should be the last lever. So now, uh, okay, that's just golden feathers. I don't need to worry about those. Yeah, it is, it's kind of hard to distinguish the golden feathers and the notes against the yellow sand when you're scurrying around very quickly, trying to find your way around. But not too big of an issue, I don't think. Anyways, get past that guy, and now we can start our little... Uh, I guess our secondary maze here, I guess. Climbing atop these... Uh, I don't even know what you'd call it. I guess it looks wooden. And this bridge looks like it's made out of Legos, so... That's a bit silly. There's like a Jinjo around here, right? I do not know where he is. I think the Jiggy is over here? That's nothing. Okay. Jiggy is this way. Get that? Okay. That's only the fourth Jiggy in this world? Dang. Man. We're like, we have way more notes than we do Jiggies. I mean, like, you know, obviously, like, comparatively, right? Because there's a hundred notes and ten Jiggies, but, like, we're getting up there in notes, aren't we? Where the fuck is that Jinjo at? Where is that Jinjo? I don't know where he is. This is where it just was, right? Yeah, that's the... Where the fuck is a Jinjo? Where is a Jinjo at? Have I even seen him at all? I don't even remember seeing him. Where the fuck is he? 
Let me just go down for a second and see if I can just find him. So I know where to go. Oh, he's up there. Okay. So I need to go that way. Okay. I got it. I got it on lock right now. So actually, I, I might not. Okay, no, I do. And hey, that was the last Jinjo. So now we've got the Oracle, who's back up in Spillerston. So that will help our Jiggy count a bit more there. And uh, with that, I think we are done with the mouse. So, oh my god. Stop it. Okay. Ow! Oh yeah, they do steal eggs. They do steal eggs, like I said, they did in Regal Beach, but I don't think I really got a chance to show it. Get out of here! Get away from me! Okay. Let's change back. I do want to change. Alright. Let's go back to normal. Unfortunately, there is nothing for us to do with the candle. I don't think the candle ever gets reused at all, actually. Which is very sad, because it is my favorite. But oh well. We move on. Let's go back up to Spillerston. Um, I gave that, that little shit, that little squid, uh, its ice cream cone. I can't remember if I got the Jiggy for that or not. Oh, I, I did not read your little secret there. What did you, what did you actually say this time? I think Rintilda's getting desperate. Her mecha grunty... I skipped the text. Her mecha grunty suit needs more spare parts than the freezing furnace can make. Well, that is... Yeah, that's the next world. Freezing furnace, so... Another spoiler there. Okay. <laughs> we don't know where that Jiggy's been. Well, we do need it, so might as well. How many tokens do I have? I only have one? Probably should have gotten that. Oh, God. I should have gotten the one on top of the sandcastle, but I forgot. Okay. So I think now... Well, hold on. Before I do that, let me go back this way, because there's something in one of the houses that I needed to do. Get away from me. I don't like you. Stop it. Just, just die. Just die. Please, just die. Okay. So you need to go in this house. Oh my god. No, no, no. I don't know why I got out of Talent Rot. You can jump into this chimney with just by doing it. Anyways. Uh, so. Hit A on the pad there. Destroy all these boxes. And we get a Jiggy for that. So now we are starting to get Jiggies a bit more quickly now. Just three more to get. And the next one is gonna be probably the hardest one. Uh, like in the entire game, I would say. That's not that's not really an exaggeration. Um, first of all, oh, there's another token. Let's get that. Yeah, I really don't know where the other because there's there's one in the sandcastle, but I don't know where the other two are. I don't know where those are at all. All right, you die. Oh, I did this the wrong way. I did this the complete wrong way. I think what we actually have to do is get out of my way. We want to go to over here. Stop it. Bounce up here. Get up here. Hit this switch. That will activate a golden feather pad down there. And that is on a timer, I'm pretty sure. Yep, 10 seconds. We don't have a lot of time. Let's just hurry there as fast as we can. Activate Golden Feathers. Thankfully, we have way more than 10 Golden Feathers to in our supply, so that's good. We need these to deal uh, with these bees over here. Because they will just relentlessly attack you otherwise. Get a token. I'm just going to keep this active just in case, because I'm pretty sure they'll respawn. But uh, hopefully we'll be good. Anyways, after hitting this switch, now it will turn that pad into a shock jump pad. Again, on a timer, so let's hurry over there. Avoid the guys. I want to jump up here. Okay. And then we gotta hit this switch, which will activate Jiggy all the way back up there. So now we've gotta quickly hurry back over there. 
and not mess up the jump. Okay. Not get distracted by that guy over there. Get over here, hurry. Woo! Okay, first try. I made that a lot easier than it probably normally is. I remember my, the first time I played this game. Granted, like I said, I was playing on a totally real Game Boy Advance on my mobile device. Um, with a touchscreen keypad. So, it was like, way more difficult there. But, still, it's very easy to mess up. So, I would not fault anyone for screwing it up on their first few tries. Um, so yeah, what was that? That was Jiggy number 8, right? Well, I didn't actually look. I think that was Jiggy 8. Yeah. So there's six notes left to get. Obviously, we're gonna get one Jiggy from... Uh, the slide game. I think the other one is, uh, towards the beach. Or it's in the beach area. So I guess we're just gonna go there right now. Which I didn't really want to do. Uh, because I'm pretty sure the slide drops you off at the beach. So I kind of wanted to save that for last because it just kind of would be convenient to be to do the slide and then do the stuff at the beach, but I don't know. Oh my god, stop it. Stop taking my eggs. Okay. That was only coin four. Where the heck is the other one? Alright, well. Let's just do this. I think this is the right thing to do. Hit this. Uh, okay. It's like, we gotta hit a bunch of switches. And this switch is right here. That will activate that one over there. And then, of course, we're gonna hit another switch to activate this one here. This one is on a timer. I don't know why the other one wasn't, but... This one is. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I, I was worried for a second because we're at 98 notes. This one will be 99. So it was like... Oh god, did I miss one note? But no, there's just literally one note just up here, by itself. Very weird design, but I'm just glad I didn't miss any notes, so I'm happy about that. Okay. Hover over here and hit this switch. And now that will activate that one. Okay. So that was like all we had to do here. Also, that's why that, that one is not a timer, because... Oh god, don't mess this up. Don't mess it up. Go! Okay. That's Jiggy9. Where is the last token at? Because it's not over here. I checked the water with the octopus. I don't know. I really don't recall. It's not like down here, right? I'm just hiding. I don't know. Can I get out of here, by the way? Can I get out of here? Okay. I was, I was scared for a second. I really truly was. Um, where is the last coin at? Where is the last coin? Mumbo? Mumbo doesn't have it. Mr. Drippy? I hope it's not in that tunnel. I was like, I don't know, I was like, I thought I missed something in that tunnel. I really don't want it to be that. Because that's annoying to you. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Um, where is the gosh dang... Where's the gosh dang coin at? Where is it at? It's not just like sitting up here, right? Like, is it up here? It can't go up here, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. I have no idea where this coin is. We can't do anything with this. Can't go on those rooftops at all, I don't think. I got- there was a coin in there, and there was a coin over there, so I don't think it's in this area. That would be uh, uh, way too concentrated of an area with coins. Way too coincentrated. Die. Uh, I thought there was one in here, but I guess not. Oh my god, fucking Gruntweed. Yeah, I don't see anything down here. Get on my face. Baza, heal me. Thank you, friend. Okay. I'm just, like, checking the house again. I don't think it was in here, but... Might as well check. Uh, no, just golden feathers and stuff. Oh, I'm gonna go insane looking for this, because it's, like, the last thing I need to do. No, I don't want to... I don't want to go into Brigo Blaster. 
Well, I don't know. The only other thing I can place to... The only other place I can think to check is that, like, that mucky tunnel. But then I gotta transform into the, the octopus again. And it's just gonna be... Uh, it's not down there. It's not down there, right? Oh my god. Maybe it's... Oh my god, stop it. Maybe it's... Maybe it's in here. Maybe it's in here and I just missed it. Oh yeah, this place is called Tipped Up Sweep. I didn't call attention to that. Oh, okay, thank goodness it is in here. Phew! But yeah, uh, this place is Tipped Up Sweep, which is cool because it's Tipped Up from Diddy Kong Racing and Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. I love Tipped Up. Tipped Up's great. He's not in this game. That's, that's as much of a cameo as he gets, but I still appreciate it. Anyways, let us now finally give this guy our coins. And do the slide, and hopefully do it the first try. Okay, this one's a race, Rat Boy. Rat Boy, genius. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thank you for the for the exposition. I know how to do it, but I will still probably mess it up. See, so yeah, this one's a race. He's like on a parachute. He's not even like on the slide. So we got some speed boosts here and some oil slicks. Oh, missed a speed boost. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's ahead of me now. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell because he's, like, parachuting down. If you look at the right side, it shows our he our faces. And it kind of shows how... Who's leading right now. And right now it's him. Which is not great. Can I have a speed boost, please? There we go. Okay, don't get hit again. Don't get hit again. There we go! I did it first try. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, I'm just happy I don't have to do that a million times. There we go! We got everything now. We can't actually get everything here on our first try. It's just bad magic bio that we can't get everything. Uh, but yeah. That should actually be everything. We just make sure. Yep. Honeycombs are good. Notes are good. Jiggies are good. Jinjos are good. Everything is good. So that wasn't too bad. I just went a little insane, kind of trying to figure out what the best route was and where those coins were, but not too bad. Uh, so I enjoyed Spiller's Harbor, as I usually do. But that's it for it. Yeah, we're done with it. Uh, so uh, next time on Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge, we're going to do the final world in the game. I don't think it'll be the finale. I'm probably going to save the, the final boss stuff um, for its own video. But... Uh, we will do the final world next time, so uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.